Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to migrate Windows 7 to an SSD without reinstall. It is known that Windows 10 is way faster than Windows 7, but if you own an SSD, you could improve the overall efficiency of Windows 7 by migrating the OS to the SSD. So stay tuned and let's take a look at how we can do this in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution could be migrating Windows 7 to an SSD using third-party tools. This option is by far the fastest and the easiest as it drastically reduces the number of steps taken. One such example is by using the AOMA Backupware Professional. So what you have to do is download and run the AOMA Backupware Professional. Then you have to connect your SSD to your computer, go to the Clone tab, select System Clone, and then to clone the hard drive, just click Disk Clone. Then select your SSD as the destination, click Next, check the SSD alignment option to optimize your SSD, and then click Start Clone. Afterwards, switch the location of the HDD and the SSD. And lastly, change the boot order of your PC to take the SSD first. Another great solution could be using Microsoft's own tools. Performing this operation using just Microsoft's own set of tools involves performing the following actions. Creating bootable media with Windows 7 USB DVD download tool and then restoring the system image to SSD. So, in order to create bootable media with Windows 7 USB DVD download tool, firstly you have to download the tool from the Microsoft web page. I will also post a download link in the description below. Then launch the app, click Browse to locate Windows 7 ISO files on your computer, and then select the USB device as the media type. Begin copying. Afterwards, you have to restore the system image to SSD. First of all, you have to replace your PC's hard drive with the SSD, then connect the bootable USB to it, and boot the PC using the bootable USB as the source. When the Windows 7 install menu appears, just select Repair your computer. Afterwards, select Restore your computer using a system image that you created earlier. Then click Next and check Use the latest available system image. Then click Next. And lastly, switch the boot order to set the SSD as the first choice. By following these steps, you should be able to successfully migrate Windows 7 OS and user data to a new SSD without any data loss or the need to reinstall. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.